Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hey everyone, this is Rachelle. Thanks for clicking on my video. And I came in to do a quick rundown of some stories that I wanted to talk about. The first one up is Officer Betty Shelby. Now, if you will remember, she is the officer that shot and killed Mr. Terrence Crutcher. Now, the reason why I'm doing this story is I read today that this heifer is trying to claim that she had temporary hearing loss. Now, what she's saying is that she did not hear the other officers arrive on the scene. She's saying that she did not hear the other officer that had the taser tell her that he was ready to tase him. Now, she's using this excuse, crafting her story as the officer who feared for her life against this big scary black man now what i say is she must have also been blind because it was obvious that he had his hands up and there was nothing in his hands so you know what y'all i'm calling bullshit on her story this is a crock of bull what is up with these damn clowns now i don't know what part of the country that you guys live in and if you've been hearing about these scary ass clowns now when i first started hearing about it they were trying to lure kids into woods and then the next thing i know i was hearing about they were trying to lure kids away from schoolyards and just anywhere that kids were now i'm hearing that they're running up on adults and like trying to scare them and like terrorizing adults now now if you notice you haven't heard about any of these clowns in black people's neighborhoods because if they rolled up on one of the bros or one of the sisters coming out of a store they subject to get run down or shot so they fucking with the right people now i'm just saying where are they coming from is this some type of like epidemic that is planned because at first it started off in one place and now it's starting to be all over the company uh country so is this like some copycat thing where the first clown did his thing and then somewhere someone was sitting watching a newscast and saw it and said okay you know what i think i'll go buy me a clown outfit and go out and terrorize people now what i say is this clown is gonna fuck around and fuck with the wrong person and the clown is gonna be fucked up <laughs> okay y'all do you remember the reporter up in alaska who quit her job on live television let me give you a little background story so this black reporter was doing a report on a club in alaska called the alaska cannabis club now during her report on live television she admitted that she owned that club and then she said famously fuck this job i quit now here's the problem her club had been investigated by the police they had went in a couple times and bought marijuana in the club now she did her famous little report in november and quit and admitted that she owned that club now the big problem is marijuana did not become legal in alaska until february so when they were investigating her when they were buying drugs out of her little club marijuana was not legal so what's happening now is this sister is facing 24 years in jail because she did her little rant on television she owned that cannabis club where undercover officers were buying weed and she fucked up she should have waited two months and then did her little thing on television man i know she is tripping when they interviewed her she said that it was dizzying the amount of time that she was facing well i think it was the marijuana girl you are sitting on top of some drugs and you should have just waited two months 
to do your little epic thing on the news. Child, I guess. Okay, y'all, this last story is about when deer strike back. So this lady was driving along. And when you live in areas where there are a lot of deer, you know, you are you never know when a deer is subject to run out and you hit it. So that's what happened. So this lady was driving along and she hit a deer. And she opened up her door to see, you know, I guess the damage to her car and the damage to the deer. Now, what happened when she opened up the car is the deer was like, fuck this shit. The deer jumped up, reached into the car, tried to fuck this woman up. <laughs> Y'all, when I saw this, I was cracking up. The deer jumped up, fucked her up. She in the car trying to fight the deer off. The deer was like, bitch, uh -uh, are you crazy? You gonna drive along and hit me? So y'all, this lady in her car trying to fight this deer off. The police pull up behind her. And I guess like when the deer heard the siren and the lights, the deer, um, you know, ran away um, and ran off into the woods, but not before stopping and saying, bitch, you want to be hitting people? That's what you get. I thought this story was so funny. I was rolling. Y'all know I got a sick sense of humor. So when I was uh, watching this, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I know it's been a couple times I've been driving along and deer have uh, wandered out like right in front of me and I had to <laughs> screech to a stop. Child, if I had opened up the door, see, I wouldn't have opened up the door. But just say I had and the deer would have jumped in <laughs> started whooping my ass <laughs> that shit oh my god they said the lady had a few bru bruises but she'll be okay the deer is fine the deer went on back home y'all this shit was funny <laughs> child thanks for watching my video as always i will see you in the next one you have a good day now bye bye <laughs>